Smile and learn. Hey, friends. Did you know that nature is in a constant process of change? We call these changes natural events. A natural event is an event that occurs in nature and is not directly caused by humans. There are many types of natural events, such as rain, wind, or tides. When these events become dangerous and destructive, we call them natural disasters. Learning about natural disasters helps us to be forewarned and avoid damages. Do you want to know more? I'll tell you about a few of them. Earthquake. An earthquake, also called a seism or a tremor, is a sudden movement of the earth due to the collision of tectonic plates with each other. Tectonic plates are like pieces of a puzzle that make up the Earth's surface that are constantly moving. Sometimes these tremors are very slight and are not even noticeable, but other times they can be very strong and cause personal and property damage. We use the Richter scale to measure earthquakes' strength. The largest earthquake ever recorded was 9.6 on the Richter scale. Impressive, right? Volcanic Eruption A volcanic eruption happens when fissures are formed in the Earth's crust and magma comes out of the Earth's interior. What is magma? Magma is molten rock at extremely high temperatures. When magma leaves the Earth's surface, we call it lava. In addition to magma, volcanic eruptions also emit gases and ash that can be harmful to living beings. Here's an interesting fact. 75% of all the volcanoes in the world are located in this area called the Pacific Ring of Fire. Did you know that volcanic eruptions are extremely powerful and can cause earthquakes? Tsunami Tsunamis are gigantic waves that destroy everything in their path when they reach dry land. Tsunamis occur for various reasons, such as an earthquake or a volcanic eruption at the bottom of the sea. Sometimes tsunamis originate at one point in the world and travel hundreds of miles affecting countries far away from its starting point. Thanks to international alert systems, it is possible to evacuate the areas that will be affected by the tsunami, thus avoiding personal damages. Tornado A tornado is a tube-shaped mass of moving air that rotates at a high speed. It usually has a wider end at the top and a narrower end at the bottom where it touches the ground. Tornadoes do not usually last long between a few minutes and a little over an hour, and they usually travel several miles before disappearing, destroying everything in their path. Winds that produce tornadoes can reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, and their average diameter is usually about 250 feet, although they can be much larger. Hurricane Hurricanes are the strongest and most violent storms that exist. Hurricanes are always formed at sea, and depending on their location on the planet, we give them different names, such as cyclones or typhoons. A hurricane's diameter can be up to 1,100 miles. Also, it can last for several weeks, generating winds of up to 150 miles per hour, which can cause a lot of damage when they reach land. To measure a hurricane's intensity, we separate it into different categories, from 1 to 5, with 5 being the most dangerous category. Wildfire 
A wildfire is a large fire that spreads out of control and is produced in natural environments such as forests or grassland. Wildfires can cause great losses in the flora and fauna of the environments where they originate. Wildfires can be caused by natural causes, such as a lightning strike or, sadly, by human action. Flooding Floods are accumulations of water in specific locations. Floods can be caused by different reasons, such as excessive rainfall in a particular area or an overflowing river. There are studies that claim that climate change is responsible for the increase in flooding in certain locations. This is why we all have to do whatever we can to take care of the planet. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, tornadoes, hurricanes, wildfires, and floods can be a little scary. But don't worry, thanks to scientific advances, it's becoming easier and easier to predict them and thus be able to stay alert and take precautions in the areas where they originate. Wow, we've learned a lot about natural disasters today, but there are a few more to come. Don't miss the next video. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.